you know, speaking of the blockchain, cryptocurrency, um, there's something that's like hot right now, mm -hmm. which is NFTs. Correct. NFTs, um, you know, because you talk about like not being able to duplicate things. Like, what is NFTs, and how, uh, you know, how can we we benefit from the from NFTs? Well, you can benefit. So, in the future, you will have thousands of NFTs in your wallet. Mm. I promise you, one hundred percent. Everybody will have thousands of NFTs in their wallet. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. NFT stands for non fungible token, mm. right? Fungibility is the, the ability for one thing to be exchanged for another. Mm -hmm. If you gave me this and I lost it, mm -hmm. you understand me? I can always replace it with this one. Uh -huh. That means, you understand me, they have fungibility. They can be replaced from each other. This is not unique. Mm -hmm. There's nothing special about it. That's Money is not fungible. Right. It's, it's, it's fungible because, you understand me, you can trade 150, it can be break down to two tens and 30, and that equals the same value. Yeah. But when something is unique like art, you understand me, you can't just replace one thing with another. It's the same thing if I take this same dollar and, uh, uh, you know, who, who is somebody you like that's a popular celebrity or something? Uh, Jay-Z. Just say Jay-Z signed this dollar. Yeah. And if I lost, you had you can have this frame. I lost this. You ain't going to be like, no, nah, it's just 50 bucks. Right. It's non-fungible right. now because right. it's a unique asset. Yeah. So now you're talking about having digital unique assets, mm. right? If I take something, let's say a picture of this same dollar, mm. right, and I put it on the blockchain, it's recorded on there that there's this, this is the only one. Mm. I can take that and transfer that digital asset to your wallet, it's mm. now yours, mm. right? It went from one place to another. Right. Now it's a unique digital asset. The reason I say that everybody's gonna have NFTs, whether they're buying them or not, because it's a perfect place for verification, mm. right? So let's say I heard Nike is coming, was gonna do something like this where they're adding NFTs to every shoe that they make, mm. right? So you can know whether they're real or not so they can kill the counterfeit wow, market. Wow, 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 wow. You understand yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Because if you got the shoe, let's say it got an imprinting barcode on there. Yeah. Well, if I scan it and then they got the NFT connected to it, it got to be fake. Mm. You understand Game me? Game changer. Game changer. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But also, you know, <laughs> with NFTs, and this is why I teach in the Infinite Wealth Strategies is how any and everybody can sell NFTs. And I increase in people's confidence. My mm. students... That made eighty to a hundred thousand dollars just trading NFTs. Yeah. You understand me? And we probably don't have time to get into that whole market, but yeah. once you understand that if you have a product or a service or anything, you should be into NFTs for the fact that they are digital assets that you can use to make money for the rest of your life. Yeah. NFTs are back what they call by smart contracts. Mm -hmm. Smart contracts is a contract that that acts automatically without the uh, intervention of the sender and the receiver. So we can create a contract between each other, right? Mm -hmm. And whatever the terms that we agree upon, the machine will automate that. Mm -hmm. You understand yeah. me? So now you can't go in there and change nothing. Yeah. So now I trust the business in between this because there's nothing you can do, yeah. right? But if I sell, you understand me, I sold my first NFT for $16,000, mm -hmm. right? And it was essentially a, a picture of the spinning coin, which I'm actually making physical back real coins already. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're ounces. Mm -hmm. um, each coin is an ounce. So let's say you buy my coin, you understand me? And once you buy it, I will send you the physical asset with it. That's called having a project with utility, mm -hmm. right? Then they got these NFT projects, you understand me? That's like Bored Ape Yacht Club, mm -hmm. right? These are projects all the celebrities are buying in it, mm -hmm. right? And what's giving it value, number one, is exclusivity, yeah. right? It's an exclusive club with membership. Right, and it's also a social piece because now I can flex on it. Mm. NFTs are the new Rolex. Mm. NFTs are the new Benzes. Yeah. You understand me? Because if I look at your profile and you, I see that you bought a three hundred thousand dollar NFT. Oh, you own one of those? Yeah. Damn, I heard I heard Jay Z own one of those too. Yeah. I'm in a club of ten thousand people. Right, right. Nobody else can get in. That's exclusive in the world. Mm. I'm flexing with this digital piece. Right. The same way we flex from having social media likes and followers. Mm. We don't walk around with it in the real world, but people know about it. Right. So you know, the digital space is the new flex, mm, right? Yeah. There's also the thing, when, when, when you talk about NFTs, there's gonna, these things are gonna be widely used in the metaverse. Yeah. You understand me? In this metaverse, and I'm sure you, you was probably good. I probably, yeah, I probably, no, 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 I probably no, jumped I the gun. Because I was like, you not going nowhere until we talk about yeah. the metaverse. <laughs> the metaverse is a- my, my guys give me the sign, and yeah. I, I, I see you, but- Yeah, let me- we, 
We ain't going nowhere until we talk about this let, metaverse. Let me get it in. The metaverse is a place where, you understand me, it's a digital space where we can interact, essentially. Yeah. We can throw events. Yeah. We can build buildings. We can hold space. We can build products. We can hold games. Mm. Everything. Everything that we do in the real world, they're yeah. creating a virtual and a like digital Roblox. space. Like Roblox. Yeah, yeah. The kids play Roblox. I thought I'd stay on Roblox. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the metaverse. Mm. Now, Facebook, they said, we just going to name ourselves Meta. Right. They didn't create right. metaverse, though. Right. Right. right? That's that's a virtual land. You got uh -huh. things like uh, Decentraland. Uh -huh. It's 92,000 plots of land on there that you can go and buy, uh -huh. right? Now, some people are buying land and flipping it. You understand like, me? Right now. Like, like right land. now, today, Word. right? Because some spaces, you have more traffic flowing than others. So if you put a billboard up in there, mm -hmm. then people are going to see it. Wow. You understand me? So imagine if Jay-Z builds a home in the metaverse. Right. Well, what if I got the crib next to his? Mm -hmm. So anytime everybody going to Jay Z concert, they got to come next to my spot. Right. So I put a billboard right in front of there. You understand me? You can come, but also there's things in the metaverse where you can have virtual spaces. You put what they call the Oculus lens or these virtual lenses on. Yeah. People come into space, and when they watching it, that counts as a like I could put a YouTube video up inside my metaverse virtual space. Mm -hmm. That counts as a view. Wow. You understand me? Like the metaverse is the future because there's going to be more things built in a metaverse that, that can be built in a real world. Mm. You understand right, me? Right. Think about it. You can build so much digital. You can, deal more, you can, you can create way more digital uh, uh, jewelry and yeah. art and clothes yeah. and space in a metaverse because it's unlimited. Yeah. So the marketplace of the metaverse is where a lot of billionaires and trillionaires are going to be coming from. Yeah. Right now, nobody has a monopoly on it. Mm, right, you know how right. big that opportunity is? for the biggest emerging marketplace in the world yeah. to, 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 to about to pop off, yeah. and nobody has a monopoly over it yet. Yeah. Nobody has went viral in the metaverse. Right. Nobody is that central person where every, oh, I'm buying all your digital shirts, or yeah. I'm buying all your digital this, that, and the third. Right. Nobody is that person. Yeah. That means the landscape is open wide. Mm. You understand me? But how do you buy property in the metaverse, though? So you can go to you can go to OpenSea right now. Yeah. You understand me? You can go to uh, uh, Crypto Vazels or you can go to uh, Decentraland, right? Yeah. And you can go through it and you can start searching through it for land that is for sale, mm. right? Basically, it's for sale in the form of an NFT. Yeah. You buy that NFT, it is sent to your wallet. Mm. You understand me? Your wallet is connected, so you're going to need you a MetaMask. That's connected to your browser. Yeah. You understand me? Once you go into OpenSea, you have that plot of land you can start building on. Mm. So there's digital architects and digital planners right now. You understand me? So you go in there, you build it up. Because if I build my virtual school, which I am building, my Block World Order school, mm. the, which, what are you talking about? The, letter? We, the Block World Order is essentially Black World Order, but on a blockchain. Mm. You understand yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And every single thing that you need to know from crypto to NFTs, virtual reality, metaverse, what they call staking, all of that will be taught in the Black World Order. It's going to be the biggest, it is the biggest organization, you understand me, on the blockchain yeah. where you can get all of the resources that you need. Yeah. You understand me, in the biggest community. Yeah. So I built my virtual school. You put on your virtual glasses, you can now enter that school, walk around, interact with others. They got their avatars on. You understand me? They done bought virtual crowns that they wearing. They got they, unfortunately for all the cats that like to overbrand, they got their virtual Gucci on looking goofy in the metaverse. You understand me? It's anything gonna happen. Right, they gonna right, take right. They, they, they real habits and, and turn it into their virtual goofiness. Right, I right. already know. Right. You understand me? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. They, they, people are gonna be more famous and things that you do in the metaverse are gonna be more important than things you do in the physical world, the right. same way social media is. Yeah. Yeah. Social yeah. media is the metaverse. Yeah. People act like it's something coming. It's something that's already here. Oh, yeah, you yeah. spend 12 hours on social media. Yeah. What makes you think if they built a better media for your mind to be around a whole virtual space that you wouldn't be in it? Right. Yeah. Here's the cautionary tale. Mm -hmm. Cautionary tale is addictive. Yeah. Right. I was looking at statistics earlier for alcohol abuse and like teens and like cigarette use and things. A lot of those, some of those drug users have went down. Mm. And I believe that is because they found a new addiction. Mm. Right, social media. Yeah. The teen is addicted to social media more than they're addicted to drugs. Right. You understand me? In the virtual space, people are going to be addicted there, detaching themselves from reality. Yeah. So, in the basis of that, I want everybody from a health standard to understand that you got to be connected to nature. Yeah. I teach blockchain and metaverse and crypto and all those things because those are resources for us to bridge the wealth gap. Yeah. Right? Not for us to have our mind stuck. Mm. You understand me? Yeah. Because once you put your mind in somebody else's space, 
Whoever controls the space controls your mind. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs> a mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>